now like to invite the, the minister uh, to give us his presentation. Uh, I had a quick peek at his slides, and I know we'll learn a lot about the diaspora, mm -hmm. and we'll learn about the policies and what the ministry has in mind for the next four years. Thank you. I'm afraid that um, after such a video, in all of you will be a simple question. How is possible that such a beautiful country to have such a large diaspora? diaspora. And uh, I'm afraid that uh, we have uh, in front of you one of the reasons. It means I'm a politician. And uh, normally the reason that Albanians leave my country come from from the state of society that I represent. You know, in different countries uh, like Albania, it is things will happen, and politics is used to do with the cost. Better politician, low cost. Worse politician, higher cost. Uh, when I take the office, I didn't uh, have a full view of uh, diaspora, but uh, now that we are discussing, uh, Albania have half of the, pop the population outside of, and I'm representing the half that is in, and some of them here, of the maybe then students, represents the half that will be or used to be outside. And this is a great challenge for us, and uh, we have decided to, uh, res to have more detailed story and more detailed uh, policy about our relations with uh, our diaspora. Because if some years ago had been considered a, qu a quantity, now is a quality, a quality of our society and the quality of our future. And, uh, of course, that we are discussing a lot of issues on that. We are spread it now. We have been spread it, but... And after the years 90, when the communist regime fell, we are spread it, especially in Italy, Greece, Germany, Switzerland, of course, in the United States, Canada, till to Australia. In Alaska, for example, there are more than 300 families, Albanian families. I don't know what they are doing there, but they, <laughs> they are there. And uh, they are part of my nation. And uh, this is a very special job. I'm, I've covered a lot of issues in my career, but diaspora looks to me like a sand. In a moment, you look that everything is in your hand, but after time, you understand that you don't have nothing. And uh, what we are discussing now in Albania for this 120 days uh, after I've been in office is to create a new policy of state. Of course, there are a lot of times that politicians use this uh, word new, new for that, new for... But in real terms, what we are doing in Albania uh, with the considering the relations with diaspora, it's a new policy. Uh, in this 120 days, we have uh, created, with a special law, uh, agency, a national agency for, for diaspora. And, uh, and uh, what I've done with this? Doesn't matter. Uh, that will cover and coordinate all the issues. But before that, I hope that you understand that, in principle, the reasons that why we have such a large diaspora, don't change from the reasons of other countries. Economic migrants, family mem member of economic migrants, students, asylum seekers or refugees, and companied miners, and this have been created especially in the last period. It's been a tricky story, especially in Italy, but I have considered to, to be very careful on, on, on that because uh, especially in Italy, have been getting some space in the laws that exist there, especially for the age 17, eight, uh, 17 and, and, and 18, to take documents and 
reasons for reasons that uh, we are well known. Uh, our diaspora is is divided in old diaspora and new diaspora, um, the migration before and during the communist period, and migra migration after the communist uh, period. We are spread it everywhere, not everywhere on on technical. Maybe in in in, in North Korea we don't have. Uh, or in, and in Antarctica, but believe believe me, Albanians are spread everywhere, and we are counting them. We are studying where they are more concentrated, and of course, like I told you before, uh, they are in Italy, Greece, United States, Canada, United Kingdom. But uh, the numbers, the numbers, you must be very careful. The numbers are not the right one, and this is the reason that we have wrote on media. Pro media are eight hundred thousand because. Uh, our migration is in a middle, in the, in a kind of crossroads. Some of them don't have yet the the, the uh, normal ju juridical status, and uh, when we count, for example, in Italy, 450,000. Uh, these are with based on the Italian documents, but outside of that, there are more than 800,000. Especially after the economic crisis in Greece, a lot of them have moved from Greece. To, to Italy. And now they are moving from Greece and Italy to United States, Canada, and especially in the United Kingdom. For example, from the embassy that we have in the United Kingdom, they, don't told, uh, they told me about the number, but this is not uh, 50,000, it's uh, 50, means 50. And without documents, there are five times more, means 250,000. And uh, we have a very special and a very characteristic diaspora, and not only in Italy, that came from the time of Sandro Beg, our national hero. They are more than 500 years old, and yet they speak the old Albanian language. They are spread in Turkey. Of the officials of Turkey are telling me that there are around 5 million Albanians that live in Turkey, and especially they are concentrated in the richest and very consolidated states of the Turkish society. They are in Romania, Bulgaria, Croatia, and Ukraine. We have got more than 4,000 Albanians concentrated in two centers, Karakurt and somewhere else near to, to Odessa. And they have came in, more than three, in Ukraine more than 300 years ago. It's a very special story to explain you with all details how our diaspora are created but they are part of the story of, uh, of, of Albania. Albania has been in the border of, of uh, invasions, the border of religious, and inside of Albania sleep the story of, of the world and Europe. The push factors are economic reasons, unemployment, poor living conditions, public safety, weak institutions, corruptions, and organized crime. Full factors are family reunification, better education, job vacancies, positive work environments, higher wages, better quality of life. I hope that I'm not telling you something new. This happened and in other countries, especially in the eastern countries where the communist regime had been felt after the years. What we have done is, uh, I'm not speaking for the state minister of diaspora, it's conflict of interest. We have created for the first time in the, co the, the Committee of Foreign Policy in the Parliament, the uh, Parliamentary Commission of, on, on Diaspora and Migration Issue. And uh, after, with a special decision of uh, the government, we have created the State Committee for Diaspora, leading by the Prime Minister, and uh, there participate the most important ministers that cover, in way or another, the issue of diaspora. Minister, foreign Minister, Minister of Culture, Minister of Education, etc. We are, uh, now that we are speaking, have been passed the law for the National Agency of Diaspora, and before one week is in, is in power, we are working and uh, trying to run because, uh, because we are so late on creating such agency. And uh, we have uh, in the Parliament waiting to be passed, to be voted, the law, the umbrella law of Diaspora, where will be created a very special a special institution that it will be considered or will be nominated Consultative Council of Albanian Diaspora. Uh, in this council will participate based the law is detailed on that, will be a fixed number from especially from United States, 
representatives from Canada, from uh, Europe, Australia and Turkey, one. And uh, in this consultative council will participate the Prime Minister, uh, main ministers of, uh, of the government and will be invited and the President of the Republic. Um, based on, this, on the law, the, the meeting at least will be one time in, in, in year to discuss the issues of, of diaspora. In the same time, we are working, it is just fi have been finished the first draft of National Diaspora Strategy and the Action Plan. The Action Plan is important because generally we, we are full with strategies that are well, well, well wrote in, in the letter, but normally don't function. And this is the reason that uh, I underline the fact of the action plan. The action plan will, will have more than 70 measures detailed with, uh, with uh, uh, who, will, who is responsible, what we'll do, how we'll do, and when we'll uh, finish. Uh, and this is the reason that the State Committee of Diaspora will be linked especially with discussing the national strategy of diaspora and the action plan. Means uh, what I'm more concerned is to don't create formal institutions that will not function or will be only for, for perception and uh, that's all. Mm. These are more or less what uh, I, told you, I told you before, I'm not uh, adding any, anything else. This is the, about the Parliamentary Subcommission on Diaspora, our five members of the Parliament of, of Albania. Mainly, I'm not waiting for great results from, from in the first step, but for me it's important to, to be structured and everything to be detailed in the law. Because uh, the issue of diaspora is not, must not be an issue of will. Somebody of good will creates something, and after uh, who is from Albania know very well that come the next government and start the story from zero. And uh, this is my my concern about about the future. Till now, I have full full support of of the opposition, and this is important in the conditions of uh, of Albania because generally the Albanian politics is ready to discuss and for the weather is raining or is snowing is good or is bad weather, but in this case we don't have any kind of. Uh, Discussioning, thanks, and to the understanding of uh, the opposition. Um, this is what I told you about Council, Consultative Council of uh, Albania and Diaspora. For me, this is the most important one. Because we'll, we'll, we'll clash, let's say, uh, the vision of government and politicians and uh, the representative of the diaspora. Of course, that is under discussion in who will be this, who, who will be this kind of representatives that will be will be in this in this council. Of course, in the first steps, maybe we'll do some mistakes. But my my idea is that better to do some mistakes than to wait for uh, theoretic solutions, getting the best of the best. I mean, learning from the mistakes is the fundamental story on this new reform that we are doing about, about diaspora. Mm, we are just starting the coordi uh, to coordinate the registration and participation of diaspora in elections. Are not, we are not speaking about all diaspora. We have uh, studied some models that have function or not that don't have function. And uh, we just have done the first conference working together with OCE to, about this, uh, this, this issue. And for, for such story, we, we are, for the moment, we are in the same opinion and we share the same opinion, government and the, the opposition. The idea is to, to create possibilities that all, all Albanian citizens to have, that have ID and Albanian passports that live outside of the country to, to vote. And we are speaking for half of the population, mainly. Uh, of course, it's a very important uh, uh, task the, to build the database of diaspora, to improve diaspora engagement, to attract investments. Uh, we are discussing with the representative of diaspora. I've done visits in, in Italy, in Greece, here in, uh, in the United States. I've been in Detroit, in New York. I will be here and tom uh, tomorrow I'll go to Washington. After I'll go to Germany, after in London. And mainly I will discuss with them not only to speak about words, but to create uh, a roadmap, how to create this circulation of, uh, of migration, that to come, to go, to invest, to be present, to create inter interconnections, to create a, a register of all intellectual capacities. Kant uh, 
be a, a nation in the world that can have, have, have produced such great figures like you have seen in the video from, from the, for the Catholic uh, Church, for Orthodox Church, for the Middle East uh, uh, story, and Albanians are, are very special. They want space and they want possibility. And what I'm afraid for is that uh, we are so late and some of them are tired. And uh, this is the reason that I'm trying to be careful, not very optimist, but uh, rational. I mean, trying to do things step by step. And we are discussing now, for example, creating a, a, a business room with them that will be considered, I mean, with nomination uh, uh, business room of, of, of diaspora. Like Professor uh, told you just um, some minutes ago, I mean, uh, some of them want to create a university, of, uh, American university in Albania, and not only in Albania, but and in Pristina and uh, in Kosovo and in Macedonia. Uh, these are more or less things that all the ministers of diaspora will tell you that they are doing and they will doing all things. The details uh, are linked with the practical steps that we will do. On, on, on not only on, with our offices, but with uh, the human resources that we'll get uh, in the middle of, uh, of, of our diaspora. Uh, general objectives of our strategy is to create a diaspora-oriented policy framework, build institutional capacity of management of diaspora matters, create useful instrument to improve diaspora-oriented policy, and improve the state diaspora relations. This last one used to be so simple to be open, but it's very difficult to be to be. To be, to be focused, because the, the issue is that uh, the, the job of Minister of Diaspora has have an inside a kind of controversy. Diaspora can't be an issue of, of state. Diaspora can't be an issue of, uh, of politics. I'm afraid that if I will be involved so much on, on the issue of diaspora, I will create more problems than they have. And then this is the reason that I'm very careful. I think that the Albanian state must do at least to push them to create their self. Because uh, Albania and Albanians, and especially our nation, is thinking to recreate ourselves. And we can't do this without working with uh, our diaspora. Critical diaspora matters, I told you, but I'm, I want to repeat promoting diaspora rights, diaspora public diplomacy, in the law that uh, will be discussed in, 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 in our parliament. We have some details on that and uh, details that will give them more possibility to represent Albania outside. Not only some titles and some medals, but um, something more, more that will, is linked with, uh, with the social status that they have uh, taken, not by the help of uh, Albanian state, but with their, their capacities. The economic contribution of diaspora, social remittances, we have uh, discussed and we have decided with the state bank, central state bank, to do at least one, one meeting, annual meeting for year, to discuss with all the bank systems, that, uh, the, the banks that we have in, in Albania, the issue of remittance, and to, to, to discuss what we can do for, for the relations between, between and capacities that we can offer to, 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 to our diaspora. To, to, to imagine that from 2004, the, 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 the economic contribution of diaspora and uh, remittances that have came in Albania have passed the value of one billion. There is no any kind of investment or any kind of uh, help uh, for Albania that uh, can, can challenge uh, the, the, the capital that came from and the remittances that came from, from our diaspora. And this is the reason that we want to change a little bit the quality of all this money that are coming because mainly this money came for, for housing for healthcare and mainly for, for, for education. I'm not saying something new. I mean, about the voting rights, I, I told you a little bit, and uh, our, our, our real challenge in practice is, is to help Albanian communities grow to better organize themselves in the new international and global context. Our first, first generation of organizations everywhere is very good. Albanians are well organized in different kind of organization, but the second level means, I mean, coordination between organizations is so-so, 
sometimes it's good and sometimes it's, it's bad. And uh, in the level of, mainly in, in community, uh, in level of state, we don't exist. We don't exist in Greece, we don't exist in Italy. I mean, we exist, but we exist for the national, national day, for, or day of flag, that, that we call it. And we do very, I mean, Albanians there do a lot of activities. But to imagine with, on this fact that in Italy, Albanian community is number one. Uh, Italians calculated Albanian community with Albanians of Albania. Uh, well, Albanians of Albania are the second community after Moroccans. But if we have the Albanians from Kosovo and the Albanians from, from Macedonia, we are number one. But the representative of the foreigners in Italy is Marca. In Greece, uh, the Albanian community is the first, definitely the first, uh, and the absolute uh, number, math, and status, social status, etc. But who represent, uh, representative of, uh, of, of the uh, foreigners in, in Greece that communicate with government and, uh, and the parliament is from Sudan. There are only 10 or 15 families from Sudan in, in Greece. I'm telling this with a kind of cynicism, but who is Albanian and understand me why I'm saying this? And uh, diaspora public diplomacy is something that we are discussing, and I think that the video that uh, you have seen uh, tell you more than my, my words. We have a lot of excellent people and qualities, and for, I think, 80% of them, we don't know nothing. And to promote the positive perception of Albanian and Albanians, sometimes the successful people of our community are a little bit closed on, on their circle and are not involved in, in, in the community process. That will. But I hope that this will, will, be, changed, will be changed soon to encourage the diaspora to interact with the host societies, to show values and to replace the myths about Albanian migrants. In some countries, there have been a very bad perception about, about Albania and Albanians, but now I think uh, have changed in a dramatic way and positive way, especially in Greece and in Italy. I'm not saying that there are no problems, but uh, this is because of, the, of, of Albanian, Albanians that live there and they have changed this. But we, we, like I told you before, we need uh, a, lot of jo a lot of work to do because uh, it's needed a push for, for, for better organization of their, of their communities. I've spoken a little bit about the contribution of diaspora on remittances. I'm not saying something new. I'm trying to be a little bit shorter because I'm more interested about the questions than on my, my words. Because sometimes the ministers and generally the politicians, we speak with the same language. Everything is okay, everything is good, the future starts now. Uh, I told you about social remittances. I don't think that uh, there are a lot of uh, words to, 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 to speak about that. But uh, the, the remittances have done, uh, have done a kind of uh, revolution, especially in tourism. I hope that you have seen a little bit the video. This has been created by, by, by personal initiatives and not from the state. And that changed the face of, of our economy, especially our society and mountains. Albanians are typically the kind of people that when they want to take experience outside, they take the best. And they want to be the best of the best. <laughs> they accept, we accept only to be the pope, priest. <laughs> <laughs> um, improving uh, the business climate, it's, it's, it's very important for us. Sometimes when the representative of our diaspora knock to the door or our administration, the, 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 when they start to speak Albanian, sometimes this is a reason more to create, them, the, to, create, uh, to create problems for them. And this is the reason that we are creating a roadmap, offices, that they will see their self-diaspora road. And this will be a roadmap for, for, for job, for uh, investment, for status, because sometimes the risk is that uh, the, 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 the Albanians outside of the country feel, for example, in the United States, Albanian, but when they come back in, in, in the country, they feel outsiders. 
Uh, I told you a little bit about Bank of Diaspora. We are negotiating this. I like the name, but not every time the name represents the quality. It's it's needed decision from the the business. But I think that is a very will be a very psychological momentum for somebody that uh, from diaspora outside want to invest in Albania to have a bank with such a name. Anyway, this is yet under discussioning. We just have started negotiating with the rich people that we have here in US and uh, especially in Germany and Switzerland. We just have started uh, uh, discussing uh, with uh, all the institutions that are interested and will be involved on, on, on that to create the uh, Diaspora Development Fund. Is, uh, the project have, have been spread in different ministries for their opinions. I'm optimist, but yet I'm waiting for their, their answers, because sometimes when you want to run in Albania, this is a problem, not a success story. Uh, preserving and strengthening a national strategy, I mean na national identity, it's a, it's a huge and a very important issue for us. We have calculated that if we don't work on, on this issue and all these uh, topics that uh, I wrote it, here we, we have a lot of problems and to, to get solutions and to do the right stuff because like I told you before, based on our calculations, on if we don't function like we are thinking, we will lose at least 200,000 Albanians that uh, will not accept, will, they will be assimilated and they will accept after 10 years that they are Albanians. This means to, to lose 200 people without having a war, without uh, being attacked from anybody, any disease, but these are the rules, the rules that function inside of diaspora. If you don't work with them, they will assimilate. Or at least they will come to a national day to say that grandpa or grand-grandpa have been Albanian or nothing. They will, they will not come. And uh, when I'm speaking for who is not coming, I'm sure that this will be to more than 200,000. And this is the reason that I'm so concerned and sometimes anxious about the job that we have in front of us. The first diaspora meeting, diaspora summit, was a great event that had been held in November 2016. It was the first time that Albanians from different countries of the world have seen each other, and this is maybe this is have been for the first time kind of quality that have came from Albania to to, to them and not from them to to Albania. But uh, we have a uh, a uh, great problem with the next summit, because Albanians hate uh, to be repeated, the same story. means uh, they will not uh, like to have a summit for PR or for political reason. They will ask for results, for practical steps, and for something that uh, they to see the future of their self and the country. But uh, like I told you, may, uh, we are in a process that we are thinking about how, what kind of things we will do in front of our quality of, 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 of uh, such a quality that we, we call it diaspora, but, but for us it's not diaspora, it's our next half. We are, I'm representing the half that is inside, and diaspora is the next half. And for this reason we are des redesigning the, the, the concept of, of how function a nation in such a world that of information, of course, but have, that have a lot of pressure in front of nations like, like Albania and Albanians. We are working together with uh, the second state, Albanian state that, that is in the region, that is Kosovo, but of course we have uh, ready and we are negotiating agreements with Macedonia and Montenegro about the issue of uh, diaspora. Because we don't want to divide Albanians on the Albania of Albania, and Albanians of Kosovo, Albanians of Macedonia, Albanians of Montenegro, etc., etc. Albanians in diaspora function like Albanians who care from uh, what is the village and where is the village. In uh, 1913, uh, we have been divided in different states, but uh, have been not divided our soul, our story, our flag, and our future. That we are redesigning, starting for the first time from diaspora. And we are not speaking for math. I'm speaking for the story of Albania. 
the diaspora in the United States was the main lobby of, of that we, uh, Albanians have used to the office of the President of the United States, Mr. Wilson. And uh, Albania exists because of the President of the United States. The diaspora in the United States uh, have, have done uh, unbelievable lobbying for the independence of Kosovo. It's not a, a diaspora of, that you will see in the letters, like a month. The diaspora of Albania is the story of Albania. This is it. Question. Excellent.